Effectiveness of Face Mask The U.S. CDC Centers for Disease Control and Prevention WHO, World Health Organization, and public health officials recommend wearing face masks to control the spread of the novel coronavirus, which causes COVID-19. People are now wearing many different types of face coverings, including neck gaiters, hand-sewn mask, and disposable medical mask. In many cases, mask choice is dependent on availability, people use what they have. But how effective are each of these face coverings? Homemade cloth mask. According to an article published in the Journal of Family Practice, single-layer mask may only provide 1% particle filtration. A two-layer cotton mask filters out about 35% of small particles. Cotton face mask can decrease droplet spray from 8 feet to 2 and a half inches. The effectiveness of a homemade cloth face mask largely depends upon its construction. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, densely woven cotton fabrics, such as quilting cotton, are best. Although they are usually less effective than medical-grade mask, many health authorities recommend their use by the general public when medical-grade masks are in short supply, as a low-cost and reusable option. Unlike disposable mask, there are no legal standards for cloth mask. Study had volunteers wear masks they made themselves, from cotton t-shirts and following the pattern of a standard tie behind the head surgical mask, and found the number of microscopic particles that leaked inside the homemade mask were twice that of commercial mask. The homemade mask also let a median average of three times as many microorganisms be expelled by the wearer. A peer-reviewed summary of published literature on the filtration properties of cloth or flannel, at least 100 threads per inch. There is a necessary trade-off. Increasing the number of layers increases the filtration of the material but decreases breathability. This makes it harder to wear the mask and also increases the amount of leak around the edge of the mask. Store-bought cloth mask. The effectiveness of a store-bought cloth mask will depend on its construction. According to Johns Hopkins Medicine, you should look for a mask with at least three layers of fabric. Ideally, you want a mask constructed from tight weave 100% cotton cloth. A typical cloth face mask is probably at least 50% protective, while high quality masks could be 80 to 95% protective. And even low quality masks made of very thin materials could still be 10 to 20% protective, according to Stefan Eikenberry, a postdoctoral scholar at Arizona State University who studied the effectiveness of mask. Cloth mask with filter. Some store bought masks come with filter pockets. You can also make cloth mask with a pocket for a filter. You can use folded facial tissues as a filter, simply slip the folded tissue into the filter pocket. Change the tissue filter daily. In an NPR report, Mei Chu, an epidemiologist at the Colorado School of Public Health, recommends using a filter of polypropylene material. A durable synthetic fabric often used in upholstery that can hold an electrostatic charge, which helps it trap small particles. Adding a polypropylene filter to a two-layer cloth mask can increase filtration efficiency from 35% to nearly 70%. Neck gaiters. Neck gaiters essentially, a tube of fabric that's worn around the neck and can be pulled up or down, as needed, to protect the face and neck. These can be used as mouth and nose coverings and may provide some protection against spread of the novel coronavirus. Note, many gaiters are made of synthetic fabric, and synthetic fabric doesn't seem to be as effective in preventing the spread of small particles as natural fibers, such as cotton. What's more, a recent study found that neck gaiters made of synthetic fleece may do more harm than good because they essentially aerosolize the wearer's respiratory droplets. In a new study from Duke University in North Carolina, researchers concluded that fleece neck gaiters made from a polyester and spandex blend aren't effective in blocking coronavirus droplets. Disposable surgical mask. These flat, thin, paper-like masks are usually white and light blue. According to a 2013 study published in Aerosol Science and Technology, surgical face masks can filter out about 60% of smaller, inhaled particles. They are primarily intended to stop droplets, sprays and splatters. And studies have shown that diligently wearing surgical masks in public spaces can significantly reduce the spread of respiratory infection. Surgical masks are not designed to be used more than once. 
Ideally, you should dispose of a mask after wearing it. If worn properly, a surgical mask is meant to help block large particle droplets, splashes, sprays, or splatter that may contain viruses and bacteria, keeping it from reaching the wearer's mouth and nose. Surgical mask may also help reduce exposure of the wearer's saliva and respiratory secretions to others. Certified medical masks are made of non-woven material. They are mostly multi-layer. Filter material may be made of microfibers with an electrostatic charge, that is, the fibers are electrets. An electret filter increases the chances that smaller particles will veer and hit a fiber, rather than going straight through electrostatic capture. A surgical mask, by design, does not filter or block very small particles in the air that may be transmitted by coughs, sneezes, or certain medical procedures. Surgical masks also do not provide complete protection from germs and other contaminants because of the loose fit between the surface of the face mask and the face. However, in practice, with respect to some infections like influenza, surgical masks appear as effective as respirators such as N95 or FFP mask. Surgical mask may be labeled as surgical, isolation, dental, or medical procedure mask. Surgical masks are made of a nonwoven fabric created using a melt blowing process. N95 N95 face respirators offer the most protection against novel coronavirus and other respiratory diseases. An N95 mask is a particulate filtering facepiece respirator that meets the N95 air filtration rating of the U.S. National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health, meaning that it filters at least 95% of airborne particles, while not resistant to oil like P95. Like the middle layer of surgical mask, the N95 mask is made of four layers of melt-blown nonwoven polypropylene fabric. Hard electret filter mask like N95 mask must fit the face to provide full protection. However, N95 masks are in short supply and should be reserved for healthcare providers. The The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, does not recommend the general public wear N95 mask. In fact, if you have any N95 respirators, you should consider donating them to your local hospital for first responders. Some N95 series respirators, especially those intended for industrial use, have an exhaust valve to improve comfort, making exhalation easier and reducing leakage on exhalation and steaming up of glasses. Such respirators are not suitable for source control of respiratory disease, such as COVID-19, when worn by an asymptomatic but possibly infected user. Caution about vented mask. Mask with exhalation valves or vents should not be worn to help prevent the person wearing the mask from spreading COVID-19 to others. That is because the vent allows unfiltered air to escape. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, does not recommend mask with exhalation valves or vents for source control. In the healthcare workers' guidance, if only respirators with valves are available and source control is needed, the CDC recommends that the valve should be covered with a surgical mask, procedure mask, or cloth face covering. Now that you know the effectiveness of different type of masks, what mask do you want to use, or you are now using? Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.